Paula walked in my office and she said to me, you have been preoccupied <laughs> since we've been home. Is it just jet lag? <laughs> what is it? And I heard myself say words that I had never thought before. And the voice that came out said, I think God is saying we need to sell the house, sell the cars, quit our jobs, and move to Thailand to be missionaries. And the look came over Paula's face. <laughs> and I thought, I'm in a heap of trouble. I was just stunned. And I remember saying, that's really incredibly amazing because I feel the same way too. I asked the church, where do you want to have your outreach? Expecting that perhaps it's in front of the church. And they said, no, no, no. We want to go to the Muslim village where there is no church and no history of Christianity. I was a bit nervous and scared because it was in the South and they had had bombs going off down there from terrorists. And I turned to Paul and I said, we're going to die at our first outreach. <laughs> At 50 years of age, God surprised Gary and Paula with a call to missions, a call for which they had no experience or training. This story is about how God can do exceedingly abundantly beyond anything we might ask or imagine. When I think of the beginning, how inept we felt, how unqualified we felt, and then I look at now, it makes you want to proclaim the wonderful, marvelous works of the Lord, because that's the only way that this could have ever happened. He sort of invited us to his party, and we decided to take the invitation. 